I compared every single spear in the game and I found the best ones for Hu Tao, for whales, for low spenders, free to play, and peeps who just got into Genshin Impact. If you're looking for a specific weapon, the timestamps are in the description below. Stop of Homa is literally Hu Tao's weapon. It has high base attack, a lot of crit damage. With this weapon and Hu Tao's crit damage scaling, you can focus on building crit rate on your artifacts. Its passive gives you more HP and an attack bonus that scales with your HP. And when Hu Tao's below 50% HP, which she wants anyways, you get even more attack from this passive. This is her best in slot. If you have it, use it. The Primordial Winged Jade Spear has the highest base attack, a good amount of crit rate, and a passive that gives you more attack as you attack enemies, which stacks up to 7 times, and at 7 stacks, you get an extra damage buff. The problem with this weapon is Hu Tao might struggle to maintain the 7 stacks, and Hu Tao doesn't scale very well with attack, though the base stats are really nice, so it's not a bad choice. The Skyward Spine also has the highest base attack. The energy recharge on the substat is pretty nice. You get a small amount of crit rate and a pretty good attack speed buff from your passive. On top of that, you also get some extra damage from your Vacuum Blades. This one's pretty good too. And now our last 5 star spear, the Vortex Vanquisher. Its base attack is pretty high and it has an attack substat. The shield strength passive is wasted because Hu Tao cannot generate shields. It stacks a more attack as you hit enemies, and this attack bonus doubles when you have a shield. Overall, this weapon gives you a bunch of attack percentages, which, again, is not the best on Hu Tao, but it's alright. It does get better if you can maintain a shield on Hu Tao, but it's still not as good as the other 5 stars. Surprisingly, some of the 4 star spears actually outperform some of the 5 star spears in some situations, and we will get to these 4 star weapons in a bit. But before that, there's a 3 star that's comparable to the best 4 stars on this list. And it might be your best choice if you are free to play or just joined the game. It's the White Tassel. Its attack is pretty low, but it has a pretty good crit rate substat. And because this weapon drops from chests, you could easily get it up to refinement 5. And it increases normal attack damage by 48%. Its low attack doesn't actually affect Hu Tao too much because she really wants more HP or more crit stats. And so if a weapon is not on this list, it's worse than the White Tassel, so don't bother with them. With that said, onto the 4 star spears. The Lithic Spear has high base attack and attack substat and its passive gives you more crit rate and attack for each team member from Li Yue. It's pretty average at refinement 1 for Li Yue team members but it almost becomes the best 4 star at refinement 5 with 4 Lyria team members. So the downside is it severely limits your team building options. Even if you build a team of Lyria characters for your overworld, you still have to break up your team in the abyss or in some future content. And what if there are new characters that you want to put in your team that's not from Lyria? There's going to be 7 nations in the game. Do you really want to limit your total team building options to 1 7th of the game? But then, it's a tiny bit better than White Tassel at Refinement 1 and Hu Tao as the only member from Li Yue, so it has that going for it. I don't really recommend this weapon, there are way better options on this list. The Black Cliff Pole has pretty good base damage and crit damage substats. Its passive is quite situational. It gives you more attack as you kill enemies, and it stacks up to 3 times. It's much better when there are groups of small enemies that you can kill really quickly, but you basically have no passive when there are only a few tough enemies or against the boss. Don't get me wrong, this is a pretty good choice, but it's just not as good as the best 4 stars on this list. And it's really free to play friendly. It's very likely to be in the Star Glitter shop during March, and if you have some Star Glitter saved up, this might be your best choice. And now, the deathmatch. Unlike the Black Cliff Pole, its passive is always active. You also get a ton of crit rate from its substats. The deathmatch will always be good in every situation, and you're guaranteed one if you get the path to pass. If you have a Dragon Spain, it might be the best 4 star for Hu Tao. Its base attack is a bit lower than the other 4 star options, 
but the huge amount of elemental mastery more than makes up for it in a vaporized team. Not only that, its passive boosts your damage when the enemy is affected by Pyro or Hydro, which could be 100% of the time if you play your cards right. If you're planning to pair Hu Tao with Xing Qiu, Dragon Spain is capable of outperforming Deathmatch and some of the 5 stars. And if you have Refinement 5 on your Dragon's Bane, the passive gets so strong that it is only inferior to Staff of Homa. Though if you're not able to vaporize every Hu Tao's hits, it does get a little bit worse. Putting this all together, Staff of Homa is definitely her best in slot at any refinements. Dragon's Bane, Deathmatch, Primordial Jade Wingspear, and a Skyward Spine are all really solid options. And yes, these are all at the same power level. The Vortex Vanquisher, Black Cliff Pole, and the Lithic Spear are pretty good options, just not as good as the other ones. And the White Tassel, it's surprisingly good. The other spears you don't see on this list performs worse than White Tassel and aren't really worth using. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and maybe share it with a friend. If you got any questions, you can comment below and I will answer them as soon as I see them. Or you can ask me when I'm live. The stream schedule is in the description. As is my Discord server, we have some really nice people in there. Go make some friends. The calculations I've done for this video is organized in a spreadsheet and it's also in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. Okay, bye.